Hey everyone, John Christensen here from Avid Customer Success. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manually wipe Avid from your Mac, and I mean wipe. This is a thorough uninstall. Just in case, before we go into uninstalling anything, back up any of your Avid projects, Avid Attic, and Avid user folders for safekeeping. You may want or need them later. Now, if you're trying to wipe Avid from your system and haven't tried the auto uninstaller app, that's located within Mac HD, Applications, Avid Uninstallers, Avid Media Composer, because that's the program that I'm using, and then Avid Media Composer Uninstaller. It's a matter of simply opening up the uninstaller and following along with the interface. Older versions may have multiple uninstallers at this location, but if you're updated, there should be a single uninstaller that does it all. Also, if for some reason you have an error with this uninstaller, you may be able to resolve that by right-clicking or option-clicking on the installer and click Get Info. From here, go down and check to see if sharing and permissions is set to read and write. Another quick fix might be dragging the .app file of the application you're trying to get rid of into the trash and then using the uninstaller. If not, follow along for a manual uninstallation. The process I'm about to take you through is on a Mac running 10.8.3 with Media Composer 7 installed, though the directories should not have changed much, if at all. Of course, I want to remind you once more to back up your files. If you delete them and they're not backed up, they're gone forever. To manually wipe Avid Clean from your system, first you may want to deactivate your software within the program itself before beginning. It's a safety measure in case licensing has issues. To do that, open up the application and go to Special, and then Deactivate Software License. This is going to deactivate the software license for your program. Now you can close Media Composer. I'm just going to hide it for the sake of the tutorial. Then navigate to the folders Avid Media Composer runs off of and delete them all. And by delete, I mean delete and empty the trash. In your Applications folder under your hard drive, find your Avid Programs folder you want to uninstall and then delete the entirety of it. Then navigate to Library, Application Support, Avid, and delete this entire folder. This folder contains your licenses, extra files responsible for your version ties, and some extra plugins. This also can contain information for other Avid applications like Pro Tools, so if you have Pro Tools that may require a reinstall upon deleting this folder. Beyond that, navigate in your Applications folder to Utilities, and then Avid Utilities. Delete this folder too. Lastly, I recommend opening up your Disk Utility app, open up your system hard drive, and click First Aid. It may be wise to verify and repair disk permissions if you're trying to reinstall Media Composer again. After First Aid is done, I'd give your computer a reboot. One more time, make sure you back up your files before you do any of this. I hope this helps you guys out with the uninstall process. Good luck guys, have a nice day.